this video we are going to look at animations in Microsoft PowerPoint animations to animate we use this tab here for animations and we animate words or text so when we, let me increase the font here Let's center this one. <clears throat> Let's put this also in the center. So we begin with the first one and we are going to animate this word the way it comes. So when I select that word and I go to animations, <clears throat> if it's not selected, the animations will not be active. If you don't select any text, the animations will not be active. But when you select a text, then the animations are going to be active. So you can choose how your word appears. You can choose the zoom. I'm going to choose the zoom for that one. Then for the name, I have so many animations to choose from. So I'm going to choose that for the name. The second slide. For my points, I'm going to choose, let me choose a split, there's also a wipe, let's choose a split, then for the word, I'm going to use a spin, then I go to slide three, Again, I select that one. I use a fill in color. Then here, let's use transparency. So when I go to run my slides, show then the slides. As you can see, the moment. I click on the mouse, so my words are going to appear according to how I animated them. They will appear according to the animations I put. So those which I didn't put animations, you can see nothing is happening. However, instead of animating the words only, I can also do what we call a transition. And the transition is made on all the, on the slides. So I want the way these slides appear. So the first slide, if I go to transitions here, I can choose a split for the first slide. And when I select a second slide, you want a push, third slide. There are so many to choose from. And the fourth slide. And the fifth slide. Want. Sixth slide. And the seventh slide. Let me give it a move. And the last slide. Now let us run our presentation and we see the changes we have made. So when I go to slide show, then from the beginning, you can see as I click the mouse, so I'm, as you see, I'm making my presentation more attractive 
to my audience. So the more features you add, the more your presentation is going to become more attractive to your audience. I can choose to have only one transition for the entire slides. So if I come to transition here, I can choose to have one transition for the entire slides. So if I select one transition, I could click apply to all. So when I click apply to all, then I so you're going to see all of my slides are going to take that transition. That transition. So I don't need each slide to give it a different transition. Now, that is the manual way of doing it, but we can also make our slides move automatically. Now here it was on mouse click. I've been moving them using the mouse, but I can remove mouse click and I put after. Then I make them move auto automatically. So let me animate them to three seconds. Then I'm going to say apply. Then I'm going to run my slideshow. So as you can see now, I'm not clicking the mouse, but everything is moving after three seconds automatically. Normally this is done. If you are going to look at your computer there, but if you are in the presentation, it may not apply because you need to explain some points. As you're explaining, the slides are changing. But if you are going to live like the billboards you see on the road sites, this is what they do. So they give it some time. Say after these seconds, it changes, it goes to another slide. But for presentation, normally we use the, we normally use the cl mouse click, but if you want to leave it automatically without your intervention, then you have to remove the mouse click. Then you have to specify the time which it is supposed to take. You have so many transitions to use. So I want you to practice these transitions one by one. Practice the animations. Remember the animations are done on words. So you have to have some text selected in order for the animations to come. If there is no text, animations will not come. You have to select a text for the animations to come. So when you select a text, then the animations will come. Transitions, transitions are done on the entire slide. Animations are done on text. You can have more effects to choose from. Even under animations, you can add more animations. So I want you to practice these two buttons, the transitions and the animations. We meet in the next video as we add more features of PowerPoint.